Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient Channel. Check it out, huh? Beautiful day in Philadelphia today. Sunny, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. We got here the pond all to ourselves. There's nobody fishing here. Can, can you believe it? And today I'm here at this place called Mason's Mill Pond. Well, this is a catch and release pond here in Bucks County. Very family oriented, right? If you guys watch my YouTube videos, you guys know about it because I have been here before, right? As a matter of fact, this is the place where I caught my first ever PA red ear sunfish, the Lepomis microlopus. And that was actually the only time that I fish here, okay? I never came back after that video. So anyways, we are going to do something real cool in this video. Check it out what I got here in my hands, huh? Dun 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 dun. And per the title of this video, you guys probably know what this is already. This is going to be our bait for today, okay? Leftover bluefish from a catch and cook that I did on Instagram just a little while back, right? Remember those snapper blues? that I caught a little while back, I kind of ate them up, right? I didn't throw away the guts on the head because I like to use these for bottom fishing. Not to mention that the bluefish, the Pomatomo saltatrix, is a very oily species of fish. So catfish actually love to eat it, all right? I decided to use this opportunity, just come here, do some catfishing. I got a new rod with me today too. Check this out, huh? I got the new Casking Centron rod right here. Casking just recently, oh, by the way, this is a non-sponsored video, all right? Casking is not paying for this video. I'm just giving you this information out. Recently, Casking came out with a new Centron combo right here. That is a perfect rod and reel for multi-species fishing, for especially for beginner anglers, right? I know about the reel. The reel is real good. You guys see it on the channel. It's sponsored, non sponsored videos. I use it all the time. Ultra light, salt water, right? All those Atlantic Bonito, the Sarda Sarda, I caught it on the Centron. The rod, different story. It is going to be my first time testing this rod today. We're gonna make it bend, my friends, if there are some catfish in the spawn, okay? So let me get it set up. Hopefully, we're going to land some fish. Oh man, there's some gnarly stuff right here. But you know what they say? They say that catfish actually love this kind of stuff. Got a little bit of guts on the side too. Oh man, this looks juicy. Hope you guys are ready for the first cast of the day. Hopefully this time I don't get snagged. I do see the three here on the right side very simple and typical catfish setup is lip sinker set up with a half ounce sinker little swivel we got 12 pounds liter with 20 pounds casking superpower braided line i don't know the type of or size of catfish that are in here i never did any catfish in here so i'm starting with a size one gamakatsu bait holder hook okay I think if there's a two, three pounder catfish in here, you should be able to bite that hook, no problem whatsoever. So this is it, folks. I mean, this ain't no secret, right? Leave it down here and just wait for the bite. All right, 12.51. It's been soaking for about 20 minutes. And my policy for pond catfishing it's pretty much change spots every 20 minutes if you don't get a bite, right? So we didn't get any bites here. Let's see if the bait is still on. Oh yeah, the bait's on, all right? So the bottom of this place is filled with vegetation, which I expected, right? But even among the vegetation, the fish should still be able to find your bait, right? Catfish are bottom rovers and they have a great sense of smell. Look at that, not bad at all. We're gonna change the spots and recast. Spot number two by the fountain. 
Sometimes you cast around the fountain. That is not a bad idea at all, right? So I'm gonna cast right next to that fountain. Who knows, maybe there's some catfish right around there. Great. Ah, it's a little bit deeper, you see? A little bit deeper. Hopefully, there's a catfish around there. Oh, 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 that's a hit. That's a hit, that's a hit. Oh, 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 dude, fish on, fish on. Oh, son, first catfish of the day. Oh, wait, what is that? Is that really a catfish? It surfaced so fast. Wow, it's pulling, boys. It's pulling, it's pulling. I think it's a catfish. Centron working good. This is a smooth, this is a smooth rod, my friends. Got backbone, got backbone. You know when you do your catfishing, you need a backbone. Wow, that was a nice hit. That was a nice, nice hit. It is swimming this way. This is no small catfish either, I think. I think this is a pretty, pretty decent size. Pretty decent size. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh! Oh, it's a nice size, man. This is my first time catfishing this pond. Like I said, I don't know the sizes in this, in this little pond, you know what I'm saying? But this, this is not bad. This is not bad. Not bad at all. I see the blue fish <laughs> hanging from its mouth. Yeah, wow, this is a nice channy. Nice channel catfish. You know what? We don't really need to use the mad bite net. I'm just gonna walk. I'm gonna walk this guy. I'm gonna walk this guy all the way over there. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should use the net, right? Yeah, no, this is a nice size caddy, man. Nice size caddy right here. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad. Not bad, son, not bad. Wow, so there are some catfish in this pond. We got him, because this time I didn't forget the net. That's a, uh, that's, that's not bad at all, man. Not bad at all, holy cow. Wow, came a few snails together with the pond. You can go back, all right? And you can go back too. Wow, my man, this is a fat, catfish dude whoa this is fat we got, oh it's missing an eye too this is a warrior right here we're gonna measure this guy see how big it is but just for you guys to have an idea how big this fish is all right look at that in the range of uh, four pounds four i would say three and a half four pounds we're gonna measure it all right this is a small channel caddy we're just gonna weight it by the gripper it is 1.77 kilograms, all right? 1.77 kilograms, you can do the conversion to pounds. My international subscribers, certainly happy about this. All right, let's release this fish over here. You guys can actually see this nice beast is swim away. Right here, all right. All right, you're good to go, buddy. That's a beautiful fish right there. Not bad, not bad at all. Now we know that there are catfish in this pond. Now let me tell you, when you pull a four pounder out of a little pond like this, you can just imagine, right? Is there really anything else around here? Maybe something a little bit bigger, right? That fish was pretty decent pretty decent so let me take the old bait out take the old bait out man we got the new cut bait right here fountain seems to be producing let's catch some more whoa whoa that was a hit this is a hit second hit of the day is the fish on oh it's on oh my drag my drag is loose but the fish is on. Another catfish. Oh, this one's smaller. You can see right away, this one's a smaller catfish. But I mean, you know, hey, it's a fish. We know that there's catfish in this place, right? Not everyone can be a four pounder. It's interesting though, how these fish are not bowheads. They are, 
channel catfish. I don't know, like they were stuck here a long time ago. All right, this is a small one. I'm just horsing it in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the net, okay? Just because I brought the net. I brought the net, man. I can, I can use the net, right? So there we go. Interesting little fish here. Wow, little one. I don't think we're gonna take any photos of this one here. This one's just a smaller one. Wow, side of the mouth, okay? Talk about being lucky. I don't think it was getting getting away, but all right, yeah, let's just, let's just release this fella. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. When I came fishing here today, I really expected to actually land a few bowhead catfish, you know, like a brown bowhead, the Ameurus nebulosus, right? Or a yellow bowhead, the Ameurus natalis. But no, all that is coming up is the channel catfish. Well, that's not bad though, that's not bad. Second fish of the day, we know this place has now the channel catfish. Let's see if we can beat four pounds. You guys remember that video that I did on the YouTube channel when I actually explained to you all how important it is to have all the fishing tools with you, right? To help you out and make your life easier. Today you guys saw the casking gripper and scale, right? And I have everything else here with me. I forgot to mention in that video, okay? One of the most essential tools, the net. You have a net out here and you catch these fish you just scoop it up, very easy, right? You don't have the net, well, it may be just a little bit more troublesome when we're fishing out there, all right? So if you're interested, okay, Mad Bite Net, it is in the description of the video, I recommend. Good net right here, whoo, you can play tennis with it. No, I'm just messing, okay? But no sponsored, all right? It really helps out, all right? Okay, back to catfishing. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, that's a nice fish right here. It's definitely on. It pulled drag on the take. Wow, these catfish are vicious. You see that rod right there, my friends? Got some backbone, I'm telling you. This rod got backbone. I like it. I like it. When Cass King told me that they created a set for beginners, this is a good set right here. All right, let's reel this fish in. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's a chunky one. Definitely a chunky one. It's surface already because the pond is so shallow. But these fish, man, are just around, you know? I don't know, man. Maybe they've been here for a long time. One thing is for sure, they love that blue fish. Holy cow. That's all I can say, man. That's why every time you do those catch and cooks, never throw the head and the guts out. That's a mean one. Holy mackerel. Let's put some line out here, the hook. It's hooked pretty nice. That's a mean fish right here, man. Yeah, that's a chunky one. Chunky! Look at the size. Look at the size of this one here. Okay, not as big as the first one, all right? But it's still pretty, pretty chunky right here. Not bad, man. Dude, this place got a lot of channel cats. I can't believe it. This one was not going anywhere. Not bad. Let's do, let's get a final view here before I put this fish back in the water. Beautiful fish right here. All right, let's release it over there. Why you wanna go back like that, huh? Here, 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 here. Oh man, these fish always give me a hard time. All right, all right. Man, this is a beautiful, beautiful channel catfish right here from a little pond. <laughs> okay, I got all wet from it. Wow, folks, I have to say, the results for today are quite astonishing, right? I mean, it is my first time catfishing over here. You know, when you go to a new pond catfishing for the first time, you have low expectations, right? You never know what is in there. I mean, you don't even know if catfish actually exist in the pond or not, right? So when I came here today, and mind you, this is a very small pond. It only goes from this side over here all the way 
to that side and the ends, my expectations were really to just catch a few small ball head, you know, maybe, I don't know, like a three pound brown ball head would be like real nice, right? Chunky, chubby one. First fish we caught right here by the fountain. And you guys saw in this video, right? We changed the spots. We found a honey hole. We, we found the structure. We found a deep place. First fish came up, four pounder, man. 1.78 kilograms, right? That's about four pounds. And then we got two more around this area. It is just mind blowing, mind blowing that you come to a place like this, small place, and there are at least three channel catfish above a, a pound, right? And one in the range of four pounds, and who knows, maybe even bigger in there, right? Living in this small space. And let me tell you something, like I told you guys, this is a non-sponsored video. I got the Casking Centron here with me, the Centron Combo. This rod performed really good, okay? If you guys are interested in the combo, man, go check my sponsor out, you know? I, I'm leaving all the specs of the rod in the description of the video, right? If you really want to check it out, man, go to Amazon, read about it. But I have shown to you guys in this video that one, I'm satisfied with it, and two, the band on the rod is quite good, huh? It's got the backbone here at the end, right? And it's got a nice sensitivity at the tip. Overall, very nice fishing rod, okay? Especially if you were a beginner, you were just getting started, you don't know what set up to get, right? Casking already made it easy for you. The reel, I've always approved of it. I've used it so many times under different circumstances, right? The rod was like new story. This is my first time ever using this rod today. Now, do you guys think I should take the same rod right here, the Casking Centron, and kind of use it against the common carp, the Cyprinus Carpio. I'm gonna leave a pole above, okay? If you think I should make another episode to show you guys how good this rod is against carp, because let me tell you, if a rod can handle carp, it can handle anything, okay, in freshwater wise. Vote yes on the poll. If I get a lot of positive feedback, I'll make a video on it. How about that, huh? Catch me outside. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, I'm done for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time. Keep slaying. Well, I'm not going to say keep fishing, never stop, because that one already belongs to John B., right? Just keep on slaying fish. I'll see you all next time. Back here, you can, you can see it, right? This, this got really raw power on the jaw but back here in the mouth this fish really has the ability to crack different types of shells all the way back there so I can't really show you guys on camera but little snails right or other type of mollusks around the area this fish this beautiful fish right here can really eat it all all right